are here with Chris Hayes. Uh, you wrote a fascinating piece in The New Yorker uh, about uh, internet, uh, about celebrity, about surveillance, and uh, you, just in general, the idea of fame and how there's like less gateways to fame than ever before, but there's a great price that is incurred on people. Can you speak to your thesis? Yeah, I mean, I think, I, I think that what has happened is that the, the experience of having someone you don't know know you, a stranger seeing you, knowing you, surveilling you, is fundamentally alien and alienating. It's fundamentally outside the, the normal portfolio of human experience, right? We're, we're, we're designed to have kin relationships, and then maybe there's some, like, there's some king somewhere that we know about, right? <laughs> or there's some, there's some god in the pantheon. But to have strangers know about you, which is what social media has introduced to everyone, is, is really psychologically can be quite toxic. And I think, you know, I said in the piece that in the same way that electricity went from a, a kind of thing only the elite had to being accessible to everyone, I think that experience of strangers knowing about you, responding to you, you know, saying something about you, looking at your picture, that used to be a very small group of people had that experience, people like yourself or me or people that were in the public eye. And it's now been kind of democratized in ways that I think is wreaking real psychological and social havoc in ways that we haven't fully appreciated. And you sort of are honest about the fact that you're somebody who you can put something out there and one negative comment would sort of eradicate a thousand positive comments. Yeah, I think that's, and I think that math is true for a lot of people. I mean, maybe I'm just a, you know, snowflake, but <laughs> <laughs> but I think that I think that we are again we're we're conditioned to think about these relationships as being the relationships with the people that we love, right? It's like you want the approval and the affection and the respect of people that you love and respect, and then if there's like some rando <laughs> who says something mean to you, you're you're processing that psychologically as if that was a person you loved and respected. And it takes a lot of willpower and training, I think, psychologically to get rid of that. But I think about like being a teenager yeah. under those conditions, because that's already the case of teenage life, is you're very worried about people's perception of you. You're very much forming your identity. And then it's like, well, everyone in the world can see you at that moment, that like there there's something happening there that I think is pretty unnerving. With that said, you wrote this piece for The New Yorker. You put it out in the world. Did you immediately look to oh, read absolutely. comments? Yeah, yes. okay, yeah. yeah. I was just like following. I was just like, I was just like, like a, like a junkie looking for the dopamine hit. Like, yes, yes, yes. It's like approval of strangers. They like the piece. Uh, well, I know I'm not a stranger, but I like the piece a great deal as well. And uh, it's, it's always a pleasure having you come it's upstairs. It's great to be here, man. Thanks for being back. Thanks. Chris Hayes, everybody. All in there is weeknights at 8 on MSNBC, and you can listen to Why Is This Happening? wherever you get your podcasts.